Welcome to another video. I am the Starman and I am here in the garden and I don't know if you can tell, can you see my breath because it is absolutely freezing out here. It's early morning, it's around about quarter to seven and this morning I want to try something that I've never done before. I want to see if I can capture a full moon or almost full moon setting over the Irish Sea. You normally get around about two chances to get a, a full fullish moon setting over the sea but for some reason I've never managed to capture it it's nearly always gone into cloud um, but I've just been looking out before I came out of the house this morning I filmed the full moon just check out this video that I filmed from the back bedroom window there's the moon as it's about to go down over Blackpool you can even see Blackpool Tower there yeah I could have even got a shot of it going down over Blackpool Tower but unfortunately the angles were not very good to get a shot like that but I could see it from the back bedroom window anyway so what I thought I'd try and do is I try and see if I can go to the promenade and see if I can get the full moon set and maybe be on the North Pier or something like that and if that doesn't work I'll head to the other side of the pier and we'll see if we can get the moon touching the horizon can I do it Okay, now if you saw the last video where I tried to catch the full moon setting over the sea and failed, you'll remember that it was quite cold. Well, today, this morning, it's even colder than ever. That was, that was a couple of months ago, I think. We're now almost approaching Christmas and the temperature outside is something like minus three or minus two. So I'm going to have to put this, thankfully I've got this down jacket on which Franklin Blackpool gave me and it's really, really warm. So I'm going to need this. Let's go out and see if we can get this full moon set in. Okay, now I'm all suited and booted. I've got my jacket on and everything. I'm all ready to go out. Now, there's just one more thing I wanted to talk about. Have you ever seen those pictures of a full moon over the sea with the reflection and all that sort of thing? They look really, really amazing. Now, nearly all of those pictures are fake because you cannot get a perfectly exposed, perfectly clear and white full moon setting over the sea you just cannot do it it never happens so nearly all of those pictures will be fake and i'll hopefully be able to show you that in this video because when the moon is very very low in the sky if you've seen my pictures before if you've seen my videos where i capture the moon rising you'll see the moon is very distorted when it's low down it's all due to atmospherics and all that sort of thing and it tends to look quite yellowish or maybe orange even red or pink so those pictures of the moon setting on top of the sea with the reflection are nearly all fakes and i hope to prove that in this video let's go and see if we can do it shall we okay now before i set off i just wanted to quickly show you this look at that there it says minus one on there i think it's colder than that because look at the uh, <laughs> Look at the window. I've got to wait for this to defrost before I can go anywhere, folks. I hope it defrosts in time. I don't want to miss a moon setting over the sea. Okay, now I've just arrived at the promenade. And, oh my goodness, things are not looking so good, you know. There's a Metropole Hotel over there. I've sacked off the idea of getting it over the, the North Pier. But if you look over this way, the moon should be somewhere over there, the other side of that pampas grass there. And unfortunately, it's gone into a cloud bank. Oh my God, it's happened again, folks. Will it come out of that cloud bank and will we see it again? Let's go and try, shall we? Look at that view of the tower here on the promenade here. Doesn't it look absolutely awesome? Yeah, all lit up here at around about half past seven in the morning. But unfortunately, like I just said before, this is where the moon should be going down somewhere just over here. But can you see? It's just dropped into that cloud bank. Oh dear. You know, I really love Blackpool this time in the morning when it's so quiet. There's the Metropole Hotel there. Just look at this sky here. This is the Cenotaph. Just over there is the old 1234 cinema. And just look at that. View of the tower. The sun is about half an hour away from rising. And the moon at the moment is only about 10 minutes away. It's a little bit late getting here. There's the North Pier there. But just look, didn't I say, folks, that there always seems to be something that goes wrong when I try to capture the moon setting 
over the Irish Sea. Can you see? You might be able to see just out there. There are wind turbines. There's lots of lights on the horizon. Wind turbines. We would have got the moon going down beyond the wind turbines, but unfortunately, look at that bank of cloud there. Can you see? Scuppered again. Okay, now I've just moved up the promenade a little bit. We're almost near the wedding chapel. It's getting brighter. It's getting... You're not going to believe this, but the moon just came out at the very last minute. It just about sneaked out underneath the cloud, just beyond where those kiosks are there, and I've managed to get a few pictures of it. Only just managed to get a picture. It was about a quarter of the moon, but it's something. We got something, folks. It wasn't perfect, but we managed to get something. I'll put those pictures on the screen now. Check these out. Look at this now. I just noticed we were just making our way, I'll be frank here, we were making our way towards the wedding chapel. But just check this out. The moon, I saw this bright thing and I thought, oh my God, it's just come out. Look at this. You can only just see it beyond the wind turbines. And there you go. The wind turbines are a good um, subject as well, aren't they, on the horizon. They just break up that horizon a little bit. So there you go. We managed to get something. It wasn't perfect but it was better than nothing. Okay, now we've just about managed to get a little bit of the moon setting over the North Pier there, but we're seeing another amazing natural phenomenon. Now look at all these starlings now. This is amazing. A bit of a bonus for you folks, this. Look at the starlings all flying away from the North Pier. They're all going out to play for the day and they'll be back tonight before sunset. But look at all this stuff. <laughs> That is amazing. Anyway, there's another effect that we're going to get now. The sun is rising somewhere over there towards the southeast. Now, what's going to happen is this sky up here is going to turn pink. In fact, you can see it already. Can you see we've got a pink band here and we've got a greyish blue band underneath it. And that is the belt of Venus, folks. That grey blue band that you can see here is the shadow of the Earth. And that shadow is going down and the pink above it is also going to go down. That is the shadow of the Earth going down over the North Pier. That is absolutely amazing. Well, at least we've got a little bit of a bone. It's got quite a nice sunrise this morning. Looking at those clouds lit up over the central pier there. And it's a bit later on than the last time. And I just want to give you an update on this belt of Venus. Look, can you see now? Can you see that grey, greyish sort of bluish grey should I say band and the pink is coming down over the North Bay. It looks pretty spectacular actually. Pretty soon that pink band will be sat right on top of the theatre at the end of the pier. Okay check this out the tide's coming in now. Look at this. So there you go folks. We didn't manage to get the moon set or we've just about managed to get a little piece of the moon setting. I'm going to try again tomorrow, but we did get the belt of Venus. Look at that now, folks. We've got that uh, pink. Can you see it just above the, uh, the theatre there now? Just like I said there. So the blue, the bluey grey bit is the shadow of the Earth, and the pink bit above it is caused by the sun shining through the atmosphere. So there you go, folks. We got something. So there you go. The sun's rising now. Look at the light on the clouds over there. Yeah, it's lighting up really nice here in Blackpool. We just about managed to get a piece of the moon i'm still waiting for that perfect shot of the the full moon setting over the sea will i get it i'm going to try again tomorrow anyway we did get some nice scenes we got the belt of venus and we also saw the starlings as well so it's a bit of a bonus so it wasn't a complete waste anyway i hope you like this video if you do hit the like button and also hit subscribe and tick the bell for notifications of new videos see you again on the next one